Hi darlings. Wow, it's been a long month. But hey, I got more time writing right there, right there, right there. Ah, my finger is pointing the wrong direction. Tube is almost done. So close, so close. Eight more scenes, actually seven more scenes as of today, and it will be finished. If you want to follow my daily writing, you can go on Patreon, cough up a dollar a month, and you get access to it. You also get access to the whole draft early, and to the ebooks early, and an advanced reader copies if you want, and so on and so forth. Depends on how much money give me. You send me a lot of gold bricks, I'll fly out to you on a flying elephant and I will personally read to you from Tube, a really scary story about a little train raping a little girl. So, October. Lots of things happened. I went to Brooke Sheedon's Promoting Passion Convention. It was fantastic. I met a lot of photographers, a lot of great people. Came back and I was heartbroken to separate from all these people, but I was also very happy to be alone and writing. I also went to see LO offices, beautiful people in Colorado who have hosted me and showed me around and I love LO and haven't checked out LA yet, go take a look. I participated in an Indie Author Day, that was awesome. It was the very first Indie Author Day and I made some sales, listened to people, met some local authors. Rosehead is making waves. It's been selected for a general electric reading list on Wattpad. Wattpad is doing wonders for me. Rosehead is really well read in there and surprisingly Siren Suicide second edition and that's actually picking up and it's making more sales than Rosehead. I look at my website, I sales report and stuff and I looked and I was like, holy shit, <laughs> it's actually outselling Rosehead. Interesting. I read a whole fat book of Russian English idioms, 955 pages, so now I'm really smart, know how to write both in English and Russian, how to translate it in my head. And we had a six year anniversary with Royce, who is my punching bag, my driver, my sponsor, my fan number one, my very first reader, my editor, my pillow to sleep with. He also cooks, he fixes things, he drives a car, he sponsors dinners, he takes me out. And recently I've been asking him, so how does a, an adolescent boy feel when he ejaculates for the first time? Another time I told him, okay, right now I need you to lay down on the floor because I have to kill you in this particular way. And so you do this and you lie down and you pretend to be dead. Well, we've been together for six years. Wow. Um, I guess it's time to break up. I told him, yeah, you know what, it's too long. But we decided but, uh, maybe we'll try for another six years. So next, November, and I'm gonna be doing these video updates now once a month for you so that I have sanity and enough time to do my writing. I got invited to do stand-up comedy. Well then, this will be new. I don't know if I'll go or not in November, but I'll be done with two, but who knows? Maybe I'll go and I'll talk about flying elephants and bears and dancing naked with them and being nursed with vodka when I was little and eating out of wooden bowls with wooden spoons and you know, things like that. And then say it with a straight face. Very, very serious. Once I'm done with Tube, I will be revising the summary for Jenna, from my writing mentor, who is very patient, waiting for me to finish one book so we can work on another book. I have a consulting gig lined up because I really want to go to Russia in February, my high school reunion, 25 years, and everybody's been asking me to come. Plus, my grandmother is really, really, really sick, and I want to see her. I'm not sure if I'll be able to see her alive. I hope so. But at the moment, I don't have the money to go, so I'll have to make the money somehow, pull it out of my ass. So tell anyone to buy my books or send gold or diamonds. Cash and socks. That would work. I was thinking about doing a writing workshop. It got born from promoting passion convention from all the people who attended my writing workshops. And they say, hey, if you do that, we'll come over and we'll actually do it. We'll, we'll pay you. We'll like shower you with, with money. And I'm like, wow, this is great. So I already found a potential venue, but I have to figure out how to plan it all. Just organize it. So that might be a reality. Maybe I'll do that in November. And then there is all the little annoying things like all the fixes in the books oh my god it just never ends but Rosehead is gonna be available as a hardcover copy yes Kobo Books is working on it they just sent me an email yesterday They're like hey it's going through a review process so soon 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 I'm like I can't wait I can't wait to hold a hard copy of Rosehead in my hands I'll offer it for sale on my site and Anya just sent me the very first sketch of Tube the little toy train for Tube's cover and it looks awesome can I reveal it I'm dying I want to show you but I can't so this is November. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Sorry, <laughs> this is October. Now we're going into November and next I'll do a video update in about a month. Until then, read the books, buy the books, review the books. Not just my books, any books. We authors love it when you love our books and spread the word. You love something and write. If you won't write, I will find out where you live and I'll come to your house at night with a chainsaw and I will find where you sleep and... Okay, bye.